language may not be suitable for young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Hi, my name is Michaela, and welcome to my story. Let me take you back in June 2009. During this time, I thought I finally found a gold amongst the rust. I was so smitten by him. Who wouldn't? He's the sweetest guy I knew back then. As always, let me take this opportunity to thank Anchor for making my whole podcast experience easy and pleasant. Don't forget to drop a message or two on our Facebook page, Michaela on Podcast. I repeat, Michaela on Podcast. Would love to hear from all of you. Episode 3 Let's call him Miles. June 14, 2009 I have known Miles for such a short time, but the connection we have is way past friendship. It's more than that. I feel like we've known each other in the past. Miles is my soulmate. He understands what I've been through and accepted my past and loving me more upon knowing all these. I can't lie to him. It's difficult for me to hide these things from him. I don't know. He, he's too nice. And I love him so much that I don't want to break the trust. I don't want to sabotage what we have right now. It's almost too perfect to ruin. He knows if I'm genuinely happy, sad, or upset. He knows how to connect with me in such a way I want it to be. He relies on my feelings and most of his gut feelings are correct. He gets me that easily. More often than not, he is able to dissect whatever is on my mind and give me explanation on some things that I don't understand. Definitely one of a kind trait. And I'm loving every second of it. He's sensitive. That's why I do the best I can to be more sensitive as well. I don't want him to get hurt because of my wrongdoings. I'm lucky to know Miles this much. An opportunity that is given one in a zillion years. That's why every second with him is so important to me. Being with Miles, I feel no stress. I'm always smiling and he keeps a positive attitude spread all over me. I know. With our situation, it's difficult for him to provide 100% of his time, but I definitely understand him. If he can only give 75%, I will provide the rest of the 25% to make it 100 Relationships won't work without cooperation of both parties. It takes two to tango and a right melody to dance around. But one good thing about him is that he finds time for me as well. He never fails to surprise me. How I wish I could keep him in my pocket forever. There's so much that I need to find out about him, and he feels that way for me as well. It's becoming so clear to me already that I'm falling so deeply in love with him. He is on my mind every millisecond of my time. Mentioning his name would spread a smile on my face, and the kilig moment is getting more and more. Everyone knows someone like Michaela easily gets bored in a relationship if she finds it very stagnant. But with Miles, I don't feel any boredom. In fact, it's getting way past better. Hope he feels the same way too. There's so much that I can say about him. No criticisms or whatever. A very unusual remark from me. Normally during the first two weeks of the relationship, I can't detect flaws. Already, but with him, after two months, I haven't had any serious issues about his attitude towards me or whatsoever. I'm happy of our status and will be happier if this progress. I wonder if he's thinking of me too, if he feels the same way, if he'll do his best so we're going to last forever. Way too impossible, but 
I am keeping a positive outlook in everything now. I have no issues whatsoever if he's going to be possessive of me. In fact, it will make me feel so important if he does. Let me share this with you all. Anchor is a hosting platform that is easy to use and offers a lot at no cost. I use Anchor for my podcast. So far, it's been fun. With their unlimited hosting and easy-to-navigate tools, it's simple to start recording your show. And you can download the app for free. With Anchor, it's one step closer to having your very own show. Anchor, sign up now. So in this entry, I described who he was and how he made me feel as a whole. I have to be honest, he's one of the sweetest guys I've dated. To him, I'm his priority. His focus will only be on me. He did not make me feel left out. One of the things he taught me was to compromise. I've learned to meet halfway even though I know it would be too unfair for me. I've accepted the fact that he couldn't focus his whole time with me because he has a lot of things to prioritize. It suited me fine though, considering I was also busy with work. We lived in two separate cities, so traveling can be a pain. With him making time to visit me in my apartment was already a big deal for me. Everything has to be planned. You know, we either watch a movie, go out to dinner, or even just stay at home and do nothing but talk for hours. I was contented and feel valued by his efforts. We never had any huge fights. There were misunderstandings, but never led to screaming matches. He made me feel calm. He's everything I've been looking for. But, you know, just like a book, it has to end. How? I'll tell you more about it by next Monday. That ends this week's entry. Be sure to tune in every Monday for new episodes. Michaela is produced by me with Jabs for the Sound and Monique for the Artwork. Join me again next week, only here in Michaela. <laughs> <laughs>